percentage of people think Britain isn't as child-friendly as the rest of Europe? The answer is 46%. Now, let's get your input on our first phone-in of the day. Does Britain hate kids? I'm sure we'd all agree kids get a much fairer deal today than they did 100 years ago. We're not sending them up chimneys, of course. However, much uh, Matthew Wright, and he's not here, so I can say this, he probably would like it if we did still send kids up uh, <laughs> chimneys. Um, even though the Child Trust Fund is no more, there's still a lot out there for families. There's been huge investment in nurseries, Sure Start centres, which are brilliant, youth clubs, TV schedules are filled with shows on families and parenting, restaurants save up Play-Doh with their pasta. You can even get a baby Chino. But Mary O'Riordan, the former editor of Marie Claire magazine, doesn't have kids and feels increasingly sidelined by a society that does everything it can to make life easier for people who do. The whole country is obsessed with breeding, she says. That's not to say she doesn't like kids, but if she's trying to have a quiet drink in the pub and your kids are running around screaming, she ain't going to be happy now, is she? Maybe she should move to a place called Firhall in Scotland, the UK's only child-free town. The mums of Mumsnet probably wouldn't get on with Mary O'Riordan. Um, they're concerned that for all its reputation as a child-friendly country, there's a large number of people who'd love to return to Victorian attitudes. Justine Roberts, who founded the site, reckons we still see kids as pests who should be seen and not heard. How tolerant, though, are we of kids compared to, say, countries such as Italy or Spain? Um, Steve? Yeah? You're a traveller, I'm sure, and you have kids. Yeah. Do you think Britain does actually hate kids? We're a lot better as a country than we used to be. Um, there are a lot more... I mean, in terms of facilities and accommodating children and... Um, I mean, they're always going to... You know, we're always going to be slightly behind the rest of Europe because we just are. We're just... Uh, we're just like the kind of slightly older uncle that's, no, no, oh, God, do we have to? Really? So, you know, in terms of... Uh, Kids being welcomed into restaurants. I mean, most restaurants now have got a children's menu. I mean, it's, we're, we're much, much better yeah, about but it. Is that more about actually just getting money, and it's not about actually that they like? Well, the kids like it being or not, well, there. it doesn't matter whether it's. Of course, there's there's money to be made, and baby yeah. chinos are basically froth, <laughs> and they charge money for that. I mean, that's extraordinary. I'd, I'd actually never heard of a baby it's chino. Froth. <laughs> Has any of you guys heard of a baby chino? It's, it's yeah. air. They're yeah. selling yeah. air yeah. bubbles. Yeah. Uh, they don't. But you know. But so of course it's it's it's. It, it's shame-faced, it, you know, um, kind of money-driven, but it does change attitudes in terms of there are more facilities, there's baby-changing facilities. I mean, you can't build something without having that in the same way you can't build it without having uh, handicapped uh, car spaces or whatever, mm. and I think that's a very, very good thing. So Yeah, I don't care about the facilities. I care about the attitude people yeah. have towards kids, and I do think we struggle in this country. Uh, a recent survey put, in, uh, put our country 21st out of 25 EU countries in terms of child well-being. That is shocking. Yeah. And I think we need to embrace kids more. I mean... It sounds cheesy, but they you're are honest. You're not allowed to embrace them because, yeah, you know, <laughs> unless they're yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, d That's I, true. I think a kid works out his value system, works out how to value others and themselves based on how they interact with adults. And if we're constantly shunning them and telling them to be quiet and go into the other room, then they, they lose a sense of self worth. I, I love kind of getting the kids involved. But I you love been the way in the... You don't have kids, and if you're in a restaurant with your fellow trying to have a I nice meal. I love it. What? I, I'm not I promise you, if I heard... Do you love it that, It sounds really? weird. If I hear, hear a kid scream, I, even if they're a stranger, I want to just go and give them a cuddle. And if they're laughing, I love the sound of children's laughter. I've got a baby niece now, and I've got two, got three godchildren now. I can't wait to have kids. Honestly, oh, yeah. I think... Restaurant, cinema? Yeah, I don't... Not cinema. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I see. Here we go. Not a cinema. Here we go. No, Here's the, the real Natalie Pinkham coming the out right the now. The continent make a much better deal out of including kids in, in social environments, taking them along to big family meals. If they fall asleep in their cot or their pram, that's fine. But At least they're included. we're doing more of that now. I think we are doing more of that now as a nation. OK, Louise, mm. you were, of course, uh, in a band, yeah. living that lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, when kids came along, did your attitude towards kids change or were you like Natalie from the beginning, that you loved the sound of our little <laughs> cherubs screaming their head off? I didn't. I, w I think I would move. I would have left a sort of a cafe if there were kids screaming. Now, if my kids get tutted at in a... Um, a restaurant, I make them be more raucous. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sort of encouraging them to make more noise. Brilliant. Just, what, do you have know, some just, metal stick or something? Yeah, go on, just just go, yeah. be a bit noisy, be a bit noisy. Because I just, I mean, that's what kids are like. Kids are raucous, they're, you know, they're loud. That's what's wonderful about them. But in terms of how we view kids, I have to say, I can't remember 
the last time I picked up a paper or a magazine and read something positive about children or young people. And, you know, you said there's lots of programmes on TV about children, but they're all about how naughty they are and how bad they are. Yes, yeah, super nanny. You know, and, it's kind yeah. of all of that stuff, and it's all about how it, lots of uh, parents are bad. You know, if you're a working mum, you're bad. If you're a non-working mum, you're bad. It's just... It's, it's uh, about when, how we're getting it wrong, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's... When yeah. was the but, last time but you were celebrating? that person, though, right, no, I, was, I, didn't, I didn't necessarily like to sit and eat, and eat my dinner with a kid screaming next to me. That's a different sort of thing, but I, I wasn't... I feel like we've sort of become... We've gone crazy about parenting and about the way mothers behave and where children and behave, we've come, we just become mad about it. You know, I, just... I once went to a restaurant, it was absolutely brilliant, and this guy really smacked his kid for screaming, like, really smacked it, and all, <laughs> all of us under our breath going, oh, I can't believe he did that, like this. And this kid on the table next to him got on his chair and went, don't sit there, he smacks children. <laughs> and the whole restaurant just kind of broke out into this spontaneous round of applause. It was brilliant. <laughs> Genius. Uh, Kirsty, we have got some callers on the line. We Why? have. We've got quite a few. First, we have Sheila on line three. Hello, Sheila. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. And yourself? Uh, do you know what? I'm really good. Really good indeed. And thank you so much for calling in. Do you and believe that in this country we hate kids? Yes, we do, especially in this town. Right. I live in Somerset. Right. Um, right on the coast. Lucky old me. Yeah, very lucky. I am lucky. Right, ten minutes and I'm at the beach. Good for you, but Sheila. It's a grey area. They don't like children here. All right, OK, so what kind of things do people say, then? Well, it's not just saying. I mean, although there were a couple on the bus stop the other, uh, about a fortnight ago who hardly set foot... In, they live here. They hardly set foot in town in the summer because they're sick and tired of all the children and they're sick and tired of all these young teenage mothers with their buggies, which is a good start. Right, OK, they are they supposed to drag to kids like... by their hair, are they, Sheila, rather than having buggies for them? It's, this is such Terrible. a weird attitude. Do you get angry with these people, Sheila? Yes, I'm afraid I did. Re I told them what I thought of them. Whoa, go on with your bad self, Sheila. I know, I don't <laughs> like that. And uh, did, how were they? Did they, did they look kind of guilt-stricken because you'd uh, castigated them? No, they them? didn't. Wow. So and what needs said, to change? Well, you might approve, but we don't. Well, what needs to change then, Sheila? Can we change this attitude in this country towards kids? Do I think? don't think you can, because down here especially, it's got too great a hold. Oh, dear, oh, dear, in, oh, dear. In the whole of our area, the whole of our town, there are two pubs with play areas, right? Oh. One of them is very expensive, but it's also very nice. Right. And okay. the other one, there's a play area. But we've got plenty of pubs, but nowhere for children. What is the town, Sheila? What's it called? Name um, and shame. You've got to name, name the town. Yes, Burnham on Sea. There you right, go. OK. Right, Sheila, thank yep. you very, very much for that. There you go. Families, don't move there. <laughs> <laughs> well, dear, oh dear. All right, Kirsty, okay, who else? OK, next we have Danielle, and she's on four. Hello, Danielle. Hiya, morning. And morning to you, morning to you. What do you reckon this country is like when it comes to those gorgeous little cherubs? Uh, well, I think we've got more facilities than the rest of Europe, i.e. Um, <coughs> children's menus and benefits, etc., etc. But the general um, acceptance towards children is better in... Europe, especially Mediterranean people there, love children. If they saw a child screaming on a the bus, they'd just probably go up to her and pick her up and yeah. start pinching her cheeks or something like that. Whereas in England, everyone would be tucking and shaking their heads and blaming the parents. Right, and um, you... We just have a bad attitude towards... In general, not, not everybody, but in general, I think we have a bad attitude towards children in this country. Are you a parent, Daniel? Oh, yeah. I oh, am. OK, <laughs> and were you that person, though, before you were a parent? Were you that person that got annoyed when a screaming kid um, was in the bus? I'm not, not personally, no, because I had a, younger, a much younger brother, so I think I was the oh, one okay. um, getting funny looks in the street because I was only 13 years old and pushing a pram. Right. Um, people assumed that that Which was Which is a son. fairly normal occurrence these days, I believe, uh, in terms of cities across the <laughs> yeah, UK. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> OK, Danielle, thank you very much indeed for that. Kirsty? OK, we have Patricia next on line one. Yo, Patricia, how Hello are you? There. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Right, kids. Now, I'm, I'm an older generation, right? Oh, right, so OK. I've seen behaviour change over the years a lot. And I think the only thing that is wrong with children today is that their parents don't teach them that they have to share the world with everybody else. Right, OK, that's an interesting thing. Well, they're, clap, they're, if you want to clap, clap. You know, you agree with that. You know what I mean? I mean, you sit on a bus, there's a child kicking the back of your seat, right? Yeah. Now, 
the parent doesn't say anything to them. And if you turn round and say something, they give you a dirty look. Mm. I mean, children aren't taught that when you go into a restaurant, you don't run around screaming. And you really, I mean, a typical exa example, that bloke on the airline, you know, the steward that got yeah. off. Right. If that woman's child had been sitting there, what sort of an example is that? Mm, and you see this so much now, so I think blame the parents and not necessarily the children. So, Patricia, are you from the seen and not heard school, then, of parenting? No. No, I don't. But, I mean, they're not... Children aren't taught that... Um, you don't do this in public. You don't... I mean, none of us behave in, generally in public the same as we do in our own homes. Mm. But what about letting children be children, Patricia? Letting them but have then, that spirit, letting them have that energy? You, if you say, let, let children be children, then you say, well, let people be people, let murderers be murderers, let thieves be... <laughs> 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 no, no, no and me else. saying children be children is not, definitely not saying let murderers be murderers, no. No, no but I'm, 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 I mean, I know that's a bit extreme, yeah, but just a bit. we all, all of us, right from the start, we learn a pattern of behaviour. Right. I mean, and children... I mean, I know plenty of children who, um, who they laugh, they play. They're not necessarily getting... But you get a child that's continually screaming in your ear when you're in a restaurant, and the parent abs sits there and says absolutely nothing. The child isn't learning that that isn't social behaviour. Um, a bit like you, Louise. Well, just, you Who go, actually encourages yeah, your child to be you louder? Go, if you go in Italy and you go to a restaurant at night, there are kids running around and everyone just accepts it. So kids are not, but kids can't sit still and just sort of sit like that yeah, with exactly. their knife and They don't do that. No. Just because the Italian... it needs to be natural that kids are, they just and it's not that they're being naughty. That's just how kids are. They need to run around and have a little bit of fun. That's what they do. So, but we expect them to sort of sit like this, and they're not ever going to do that. So let's not pretend that that's how kids no, behave. No. And because the Italian and Spanish kids are able to express themselves, then they don't. Feel that they don't need to vent in the same way. Well, you don't get, yeah, you get, because it's a real place in France, you don't get kids in supermarkets in France, French kids, going around screaming. And when, and when your kids start having tantrums, you just go, look at all the other kids in this supermarket. Mm. None of them are doing that. And they're like, oh, yeah, oh, OK. Ah, you know, I it's like like that. the behaviour. I like yeah. that. Can we get Patricia's number just so the next time my two and a half year olds are having a meltdown in the supermarket, <laughs> I can call her and she can come and deal with it? Is that <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah I'll, get, I'll get that uh, sorted out. Thank you very much, Patricia. I'll after the break, and thank you to you, Kirsty, who I'm not flirting with. I don't find you attractive in any way, shape, or form at all. I want to make that very clear, very clear indeed. So, is uh, makeup as bad as airbrushing? The girl guides want photos in magazines to be clearly labelled if they've been airbrushed. But if the guides are worried that altered pictures will give young girls unrealistic ideas about how their bodies should look, then shouldn't magazines ban makeup too? Doesn't makeup give girls an unrealistic image of how they should look? And don't get me started on wonder bras. It ain't the Grand Canyon, it's like a car park in Belgium, and you should just be honest about that. Anyway, <laughs> let us know what you think, especially like to hear from any of our younger viewers this morning as well. 0207 173 5555 is the number to dial, and we'll be back after some short messages. <laughs> Which celebrity do teenagers think gets airbrushed more regularly in photos? Victoria Beckham, Britney Spears, or Cheryl Cole? Find out after the break.